this video, I will show you how to bulk import Active Directory users from a CSV using the AD Pro Toolkit. So come under User Management, click on Bulk Create Users, and you'll want to download the included CSV template. And then open that template. And the template will include an example user and you can see the template includes a whole bunch of Active Directory user attributes. So from here, you just fill out the CSV template with what you need. Um, there are a few required fills. So on there, uh, SAM account name is required, password, given name, and SN. So SAM account name is the user's logon name. And SN is last name, given name is first name. Uh, so the spreadsheet uses the Active Directory LDAP names. If you're not familiar with those, uh, you can simply click on the cheat sheet and it'll show you the CSV template and what those what those match up to in Active Directory. So you can see SN is last name, given name, first name. So, um, so you got to have a password. If you want to import users into an OU, all you have to do is put in the distinguished name of the OU. So for example, I want to import accounts into a demo OU. So grab that distinguished name. I would come into Active Directory, go to the properties, attribute editor, find the distinguished name, and I could just copy this value and then just paste that into the OU call in there. Uh, member of, this will add users to groups. So just put the group name and you can separate, if you want to add them to multiple groups, just separate them by a comma. Use a principal name, given name, initials, SN, display name, description, uh, physical delivery, office name, that is the office. So that would be, that would be this field right here, office. Uh, I won't go through every single one of these. Do telephone, uh, mail is the email. Let's see, L is city, ST is state, you get postal code, C is for the country. Uh, you can do profile stuff. So if you want to set uh, profile pass, home directories, you can do that here. You can also map a drive. So here's a separate template that I have. So you can see I've got home directory and home drive. So if you wanted to map uh, to a shared folder and map it to a drive, you would do it this way. Home directory is the path, home drive is the letter. Uh, you can see all phone information, uh, employee numbers, managers, proxy addresses. So you can do proxy addresses and do multiple by separating the back comma. You can specify a primary proxy address by doing a capital SMTP. Um, and you can also remove. So if there's columns in here that you don't want, uh, maybe you don't care about any of this profile stuff. If you want to simplify your template, you can just simply delete all this stuff, delete the stuff that you don't want. Uh, just remember there are, you do have to have those required fields. So don't delete those. Also add additional attributes. So if there's one of these columns, or you're missing something, you can add additional ones. So, add additional columns, attributes that are not in the default template. Just open up Active Directory. So for example, I'll add the extension attribute. Just grab the, the attribute name. And then you could come in here and add this to your template. wrong column. So that's how you add additional attributes that are not in the default um, template. So once you modify it, you can save your templates and you can create uh, different templates. So if you wanted to create a template for you know specific departments, you could do file save and save uh, those templates that way. So let me open up a template that I've got already filled out. So here is a template where I'm going to import 43 accounts. I'll import them into my demo OU. Uh, you can 
Let's see, I'm going to add them to a whole bunch, a whole bunch of groups. Um, some accounts will be added to different groups. And again, I just list the group name, separate them by a comma. And you can see I'm studying all kinds of information for each account. Um, I've got some stuff here that I'm not using. So again, you can delete columns that you don't need. Uh, let's see, add them to a department, employee numbers, manager. So if you want to add accounts to a manager, it needs to be the manager's logon name, which is the same account name. So Robert Allen is the manager. So, uh, so I would grab the account, uh, user logon name, Robert Allen. So that is what I would use to set Robert Allen as a manager for these accounts. Just plug in that uh, logon name there. So my template is all ready. When you got your template ready, come into the import users tool, uh, browse, select your template, and then you got a few options here that you can configure for the import. You can enable them, you can set them to require check, change password at first logon, and then you could change the name format. So the name format is what displays here. Name. So you see the name uh, by default, Active Directory does first name last name or first name initial last name uh, if you want to change that you can select one of these name formats and by default it'll do first name last name but if you wanted to do last name first name uh, there's also an option to set the name to the same as the logon name but i'll leave it as first name last name and then i will click, click run to start the import If I come over to my demo OU, refresh, you'll see accounts are starting to import. Okay, down here it shows the import has completed. So we'll come back to Active Directory, refresh, and you will see it's imported all the accounts. If there's any failures, uh, they'll show up in red and the log type will be error. But let me open up an account. You can see it's automatically filled out all the information based off what was in the, the template. You can see it's added the user to a whole bunch of groups. Set the manager, set organization information. Um, so another way you can verify the accounts is with the toolkit. Come under user management. You can do actually come into user reports, all users. Uh, you can click run to do all users, but I will select the OU that I imported them into, click run. And there, this is a quick way to verify uh, all the information has been filled out for multiple users. So you see the department, title, uh, city, state, mail, distinguished name, and then you can click columns to add uh, additional attributes if you wanted to verify that they imported. So say you import, um, Bunch of accounts but you forgot to set the title or set the city city so with the toolkit there's also a bulk modification tool so this works the exact same way as the import tool does you download the template or you could use the export tool to export a list of accounts that you want to update so if i needed to fix all of the accounts in my uh, demo ou i would just export them first so do that I will click export and then you would come into your CSV file that you've downloaded let's see modify so again say I needed to fix the title uh, I'll delete description so I imported all the accounts and I forgot to add a title and I forgot to add a department maybe a company information too uh, maybe I forgot to update some group memberships so uh, I would list the accounts. Again, I've exported this with the list of accounts, then I would update these attributes with what I'd want. Come into export, oh, sorry, come into bulk modify users. I would select my template, bulk modify users. Oh, I got the CSV file open. That's why it gave me that error. Select my bulk modify users. And then I would click run and it's going to go update all of those users. 
So that was a demonstration of importing users from CSV, and then a, just a quick overview of how to bulk update users uh, with the toolkit. Um, on our help documentation site, there's written instructions uh, for creating users and updating users. And it goes through step by step on how to download the template, fill it out, required fields, and there's a whole bunch of other documentation. There is a modify users, so bulk modify users. So this walks through how to bulk update users, create your template, fill it out, run the tool, all kinds of documentations on our uh, website here. So that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If not, please uh, reach out to us at support at activedirectorypro.com. Thanks.